Hey guys, this is Josh Peak, the host of the Josh Peak Show. You can find me at Twitter at Josh Peak, on Instagram at Josh Peak, uh, on Facebook, official Josh Peak. And today I talk about a topic that I think needed to be talked about, which is is college worth a price tag? And uh, now that we're having the discussion all over um, social media about loan forgiveness, student loan forgiveness, I think it's I think it's crazy. It's a bubble. I think everybody knows that it's going to pop. But what's next, right? Uh, credit cards. Um, I mean, we already had cash for clunkers. I mean, uh, we bailed, we bailed, you know, the government's bailed, I don't know how many companies out. It's, it, I, I don't think it's a good thing. Uh, so anyways, I go into that, um, not what I would call a rant, but uh, something I'm pretty passionate about. And so, um, look, this podcast, I like interviewing uh, entrepreneurs, uh, other podcasters, People who love um, entrepreneurialism, free enterprise, capitalism, I l- that, those are the type of people, you know, people that like to make it happen. Those are the people I interview. Uh, so uh, I think you're going to like this uh, th- this uh, episode here. Obviously, I was pretty passionate about it. And so, uh, again, I um, hope you enjoy it. This is Josh Peak of The Josh Peak Show. Hey guys, this is Josh Peak of the Josh Peak Show, and this morning I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a subject that I found on Facebook. Um, obviously, my podcast is is one to where we interview entrepreneurs, uh, people who love free enterprise and capitalism, um, and I really love the the guy, the girl who you know starts a business, uh, bootstraps it, or finds capital for a good idea. And, uh, you know, make something happen of it. I really like people. I come from that mentality, uh, a more of a blue collar mentality of the hard work that can make you a, a, a very uh, financially free person. Well, so one thing I've always argued on is, uh, is this. Um, and, and this comes from a Facebook post that I saw a, a guy, he had posted, you know, an NPR, which, I mean, obviously you have to go with a grain of salt. The NPR is an article uh, talking about, uh, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, uh, wanting to uh, forgive student loan debt and how that must be a good thing. And some economists are saying, uh, quote unquote, economists are saying that it's a good thing. So what I have to say to that first off is, because uh, more or less the, the title of this podcast is, is college worth the price tag? But it also parlays into student loan debt. And number one, I don't think college is worth the price tag, unless you're going to be in science, technology, engineer, mathematics, you're going to be an attorney, uh, a doctor, a surgeon, um, architect, something around, you know, along those lines. But first off on this article, uh, and I'll put the link in my uh, notes here on the podcast, um, these economists think it's a good thing to forgive student loan debt. I, obviously, they're not good economists. They don't, they don't realize that that's going to be passed on to the taxpayer. And uh, the guy who put this in their Facebook post, I mean, he's got all kinds of negative feedback. Uh, the only people that are for it are, are, are those that are up to, you know, up to uh, their neck and debt. Uh, but these economists that I started thinking about are probably economists that were interviewed at a local neighborhood bar late at night uh, by someone that's pro, uh, you know, uh, student loan forgiveness that doesn't believe in capitalism and free enterprise. And uh, probably economists that are up to their neck and debt as well. So, of course, they probably think this is a great idea to stimulate the economy. It's, it doesn't stimulate the economy one bit uh, because we saw what the, the cash for clunkers did. We've, we've seen what Obamacare has done. Um, you know, and I just feel like at you know, some point, people have got to t- start taking personal responsibility for their actions. And you know, you're going to go to college, take out a student loan, uh, you know, majoring something that uh, there are no jobs for. Uh, you know, I, I think it's insane to go pay fifty. I mean, and I'm and, and I'm out of tune. Like in terms of like, I don't know the price of college. You know, comparatively speaking to when I was going to college, but I'm hearing people when I say, "Oh yeah, it's expensive to pay," you know, fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand a year for a college. Uh, and people are looking at me like you're insane, dude. I mean, try on about fifty thousand a year, if not more. So at 50,000 times four years, you know, for a, a history major or a political science major or a religious studies major uh, or whatever, and then there's no jobs for it? 
uh, 50,000 times. That's 200 grand. That's before you even go to law school. You know, that's before you even go to med school. And then somehow we're supposed to forgive uh, the student loan debt. I mean, what about the young man who says, I want to start a woodworking business and I'd rather take that 50000 and and dump it into my business and, and, and just make a you know, make a, a, a tremendous amount of income uh, or, but he's not asking, like if he has to pull out a loan, he or she, uh, you know, say a woman wants to start her own uh, graphic design business or digital agency and they, they pull out a loan and are having hard times. They don't ask the government to forgive it. Uh, that's on them, you know, that that's on them. And so uh, I think that the universities know uh, that, I mean, they're in bed with the government on this and, and so they're getting paid. Um, you know, these professors that teach theory, uh, instead of real life, um, you know, business skills, uh, they're getting paid, right? So I know I don't think it's a good idea to, for, for loan forgiveness. I, it doesn't stimulate the economy. These are people you're talking about. They can't even pay their student loans. Most of them, they can't find a job, you know? And, and then you've got the ones that, I mean, I know these people, right? Cause <laughs> my kids go to, uh, activities with, some of these parents that, uh, okay, I have a hundred fifty two hundred thousand dollars student loan debt. My wife has a hundred fifty two thousand student loan debt. They have a big house, a half a million or more. They have two Mercedes Benz. I know these people, uh, and 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 you would think, you know, as a younger person, you're in your twenties, you're driving by their house, you see two Mercedes, you're like, oh, these people are rich. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're they're broke. They're absolutely broke. They're they're too busy trying to keep up with the Joneses when the Joneses are broke. So no, it's not a good thing. Uh, is the is the price tag of college worth it? I mean, I think it all depends. You know, here's my deal: we spend four years in a broken public school system that's supposed to teach us math, it's supposed to teach us writing, it's supposed to teach us all the basics that we're supposed to know, the foundational pieces, and then we go to college and we spend the first two damn years doing the same damn thing that we did in high school for four years. If we were so good, if, if the public school system is so good then why in the hell do we have to spend two more damn years in college? I mean, why not go right into college and say, okay, I'm going to be a business major. Okay, so what um, finance, management, marketing, uh, what kind of business? Uh, And then that's what you focus on. I don't need to do comp one, comp two, and and all these other things that supposedly we did in high school, you know? Um, So there's two years of bullshit you're having to pay for that you shouldn't have to. It should have already been done. I mean, I think you could you should go specialize right from the get go, and then go and then okay, well, I'm going to be I'm going to get my MBA slash JD. That makes sense to go do mergers and acquisitions and use business and law together. That's what I was thinking about doing. But for me, when I went to college, I got my marketing degree. Four years, got the hell out, went work for an advertising agency, learned a lot. Uh, I mean, on the job, right? Then I learned from guys. You know, I learned the most from people. Uh, I would say I got my bachelor's degree from a university, from professors that te- that taught a good amount of theory. But I got my, I would say my master's degree, not from a university, but from people that were college dropouts, but multi-million dollar earners and producers in multiple different, different industries. I learned, I'll say this, I learned more from lynda.com, from YouTube, and from courses I bought from, uh, you know, Uh, from some of the biggest internet marketers out there. I learned more from that that goes into my business. I learned more about podcasting and things than I ever learned it from a, from a college institution. So that's just me now and my thoughts on it. Uh, I think a kid personally these days should go and get a, and learn a trade before they even go to college. I think it go learn plumbing, go learn electrical, go learn carpentry work, uh, go learn to be a hairstylist. You know, have a skill. That way, when you have your $200,000 damn student loan debt, well, you can't find a job. At least you can go be a plumber. At least you can go be an electrician to pay this. You can go pay your religious studies or your, uh, you know, your your political science major student loan debt off. It's $200,000 with a a plumbing, uh, you know, your plumbing skills. I mean, it's just insane to me looking at this. It doesn't make any sense, but I'm, you know course i'm watching this guy's facebook post talking about it and i know this probably sounds like a rant but you know you're seeing more and more people that are that are skipping the public school systems and going more to homeschooling 
because they can teach their their kids real skills. And a lot of people, this will, this will be a conversation for another day. Most people, well, I can't homeschool. I have to have a job. I have to, my wife has to have a job. That, I'm telling you, man, this, that was taught, that was taught by more of the liberal institutions. That was, the, the key was, is to get the parents into the workforce and take the kid and put him into an institution where they could have them eight hours a day and, and teaching them their little philosophy and, and, uh, indoctrinate them with whatever they think. That really is that mentality. You can homeschool or at least hybrid homeschool. You know, maybe you homeschool and you take them to a, a, a private school. I'm telling you, it's our responsibility, not the government's responsibility to take care of our kids and to educate them right. And you can do it. You can do it uh, instead of, you know, uh, handing them over to a $25,000, $30,000 year teacher who has 40 kids in the damn room. You can do a better job than that. So that's just my focus on today's podcast. I have another one coming up. Actually, I'm recording in about 30 minutes with a, a young kid who didn't go to college has made seven figures in e-commerce. Uh, he has an eBay store, Amazon store, and a Shopify store. And uh, learned it all on his own. Was homeschooled, private schooled, and public schooled. So you want to listen to that uh, podcast coming up. So anyways, no, I don't. I do think that I do think college is worth the price tag in, depending on what major you're in. But gosh, I've never seen an industry where the price increases like, like, uh, like uh, colleges. It's amazing to me, the inflation uh, on prices. So anyways, I'm your host, Josh Peak. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Peak, on Facebook at uh, official Josh Peak, Instagram at Josh Peak. Thank you, and you have a great day.